Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen, and this is uh, going to be a message from Spirit. Um, before we get started, I did want to mention very quickly to you, a lot of you are asking if I'm still open for readings and Reiki sessions. Yes, I am. There's a link in the description box. Uh, to my booking site, it says uh, Lotus Spirit Tarot because that is my other channel and that is the name of my business. So you would be in the right place. Click book now when you get to that page. And there is going to be uh, it, that. I wish I could talk. That would open up a page that shows you all the different readings I have available and Reiki sessions. And I want to say thank you to all of you for supporting this channel. You support it in different ways. Your likes are so important to get us out, you know, in the algorithm. Your comments, I read and reply to each and every one. Um, and also your donations. Uh, you guys are awesome <laughs> with the donations. A lot of you are clicking that little heart below to donate, which is so awesome. Some of you go through my PayPal. And that's amazing, too. If I'm not thanking you, it's because I don't know who you are. Because <laughs> a lot of you have, you know, you don't use your actual real names. But I want you to know it is so appreciative because I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys supporting. I would not be able to do this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You're amazing. And let's go ahead and get an overall under... Boy, before I can even ask, apparently Spirit has something to say here. What do we have here? We have Waning Gibbous. And we have, ooh, the seventh house. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay. So this makes so much sense. This is, listen, uh, this is going to, these are always timeless, but let me say this. This is airing on March 10th, and that is the day of the new moon in Pisces. So that makes a lot of sense that this is coming out here because this is talks about alignment, refinement, um, evolution here. New moons are about new things that we're going to start that we're getting in alignment to. I will attach, again, because I've been attaching it to basically all these readings, the weekly reading from uh, March 10th to the 16th. It was explosive. So if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. And if you've seen it already, probably rewatch it. But I love this because we have the seventh house here, which is the house of partnerships. Okay. Now, remember, the house of partnerships can be in love. Absolutely. It could be a romantic relationship. You're getting in alignment. You're coming together. You want the same things. If it's new love, that could be coming in. But it's all sorts of partnerships, business partnerships, the partnership you have with self right? Uh, partnerships you have with the people in your community, your friendships are partnerships. So um, this is about spiritual union and agreements. So I feel like this start of this week, this 10th here is going to be big because you're going to get in alignment with people uh, that are equally wanting you to succeed as much as you want them to succeed, okay? This is really nice. Um, the seventh house is ruled by Libra, which is fair and equal. So it's like what you put into these relationships, you're going to get back. And I do believe that right prior to this or during this time too, you are going to disregard or get rid of relationships where you put in way more and you don't get it back, no matter what that is, right? So we have this seventh house that is ruled by Libra justice, but it's also the planet of Venus, which is love and money. So how are you relating to love and to money? And where do you want new successes? Where do you need to get in alignment with? <clears throat> I will say this. From now until the end of April, when we have uh, all these... Uh, eclipse season happening, I would tell you, uh, 444 on the timer, I would absolutely tell you that if you're feeling blocked in any area, book a Reiki session with me. 
they they can be life changing. Whether it's a thirty minute distance Reiki for your chakras, or we have um, uh, the super conscious Reiki, and that is to un or to rewire your brain, your subconscious, your consciousness, to tap into the higher truth of the the whole consciousness, right? The super consciousness, all of us, to get that truth put into your brain and get the lies taken out. Or one of my favorites, which is new that I offer, is the pineal awakening Reiki, because that's where we connect with source. So I think that it's very, very exciting that we are in this time right now of big change because we have the bottom of the deck, the inspiration, creativity, growth, accomplishments, learning new things. So this is really great. This is really great energy, okay? I'm, I'm super pumped for... I'm, I'm super pumped for this new moon, March 10th today, and for the next six weeks. I think it's going to change lives, okay? So let's see what we have here. Show me clearly, angels, guides, ancestors, show me clearly... Yeah, I just saw the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck, and she is my no bullshit card. Like, I see the truth now. Beautiful. Let's see what we have. Whoa, okay. Let's see what we have here. We've got the... <laughs> can't make it up, right? You can't make it up, Taurus. I'm telling you. Shocking moments. Uh, powerful moments, inspiration, ideas. This is, the tower is about ripping down the old structures. And for some of you, yeah, this is going to happen. Actually, I'm, well, I'm privacy readings, uh, privacy for privacy. I won't say names, but I just did a reading a couple days ago for a client, a new client, and uh, her tower moment happened, called it in the reading. And it was a job loss, but it was the most refreshing thing ever for her. She knew she was in a toxic job. So it was a beautiful thing. So if you're not creating your own tower moment, like she probably was thinking she need, well, she did. She needed, she told me in the email back that she needed to quit, but she waited too long. And then the universe just came in and they let her go, but it was beautiful. So either you're creating your tower moment or the universe is because it's no, we don't want any more of this, right? We don't want any more five of pentacles feeling out in the cold, feeling like we're not getting paid, feeling like our relationship, you know, when you're in a relationship, but you're still lonely as could be, right? We don't want any more of that. So this tower comes in, whether it's you or the universe comes in <clears throat> to literally flip this on its head. I love that. Shocking moments. Big changes. Love it, love it, love it. Where good karma is coming in. <coughs> All your uh, good deeds, right? The good things. Now you're being paid back for those. That is beautiful. All right, Taurus, what else do we have? Thank you. Oh my, there we are, right? That queen of pentacles nurturing something new, nurturing something new, something tangible, whether it is career, money, uh, nurturing your home, getting a new home, moving, I mean, whatever the a relationship, nurturing and growing a relationship, right? Any type of relationship, your relationship with money, romantic partners, now being able to truly nurture this and grow this because the queen of pentacles knows how to take one pentacle and make it into many in a very stable way way show me clearly what do we have for taurus please show me clearly what do we have for taurus you know and it's kind of crazy that we're having this new moon in pisces on the not today on the 10th um 10 is ending of a cycle and a new beginning right so that ooh, that's too many this all makes so much sense to me Show me clearly. What is the message? Whoa, yeah, moving on, right? Moving on to something bigger and better. Sorry, I'm trying to grab the card that was almost falling. I'm moving on. I am going to win at all costs. That does not mean, 
okay, that you're hurting anybody. But you are going to win at all costs. I, uh, It's my turn, Taurus. I would put that in the comments. It's my turn to win. Okay? I told you. Either you're moving on or the universe is going to have you move on. You're moving on to something bigger and better. And you're having the attitude now of, I will win at all costs. It is my turn. Right? Like you're telling the universe, okay, I'm ready. It's my turn to be successful in all areas of life. Show me clearly. What is the message? What is the message? I love to see this, actually. I know a lot of people wouldn't think that these two cards are good, but they're great in this reading. Right? I'm moving on. Whatever was holding me back. I'm starting something new. The new moon in Pisces. Ten. Ending, beginning, right? Yeah, I love this. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this. Two of Wands in reverse. Because, listen, I read intuitively. And so, the Two of Wands here is, hey, I can create my own reality. I've got the world in my hand, right? I've got the world. I can shift and shape the world, the reality I want. But sometimes when it comes out upright, it means you haven't made the decision to do that. So in this particular reading, Taurus, I feel like because it came out in reverse, you're ready to make the decision to really take that world, your world, like a piece of clay and you're going to mold it into anything that you desire. Like you know you have the ability and the skill. Show me clearly. What is the message here? Show me clearly, please. What is the message? Thank you. Okay. I, I don't know why. I wasn't going to take more cards, but they told me. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. When we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles coming out, that is perfect union, soulmate energy. Again, what are we talking about here? Partnerships, seventh house, any type of partnership. If it is romantic for you, awesome. This is like something that lasts, stays together, very stable. But this can be business partnerships, friendships, uh, careers, anything, right? And it's a perfect match. I love this. I love, love, love it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at the offer coming in. Look at that. These were the other two cards that came out with that. The Knight of Cups is the offer, the job offer, the teamwork. It's a three of pentacles, but that to me is a partnership card, even though it's a three. Um, because if you think about, and we'll just use a marriage as an example, or, you know, a romantic partnership, you are a team. You are a team. So teaming up with the right people, the offers are coming in. You may even be the one making the offer, right? Sometimes we have to be the ones who make the offer. I will win at all costs. I put it out there and dude, look at it. Look at that fool. I love this. Taking the leap of faith, going forward. I'm doing this. I am going to make these changes. I'm going to create the tower or, or the universe will, but it will be for your best interest. And it's amazing. It is literally amazing. I love this. Perfect partnerships. Beautiful. Angels, guides, ancestors, what do we have for Taurus, please? Show me clearly. What do we have for Taurus? Show me clearly. Oh, all right. Let's see what we have here. First, we have bliss, Blissipline. <laughs> I love it. Discipline yourself to spend increasingly more time in bliss, even if it's only one moment longer than you think you can handle. Blissipline puts you in the center of the spiral that twirls and swirls you ever upward from glory to greater glory and beyond. Bliss, joy, bliss. These perfect partnerships bring you that. Oh, how awesome is that? Be a way shower. I keep telling you guys, you are leaders. Even if it's just by example, it's how you're leading your life, okay? Because somebody put in the comments like, I don't know, uh, when this came up, like, I'm, I'm older, there's nothing for me to lead or something like that. I can't remember. And it wasn't a bad comment, but it was saying to me, I was like, no, 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 it doesn't mean that you are, you know, going to be the CEO of a new company. Some of you, yes. It can be just 
showing the way by the way you lead your life, by example, right? I love it. Contemplate the way you wish others would behave, then up-level those qualities within yourself. Become a shining beacon amid a stormy sea, a lighthouse that gives you hope, that gives hope to someone cut adrift. Revel in the joy of being a way shower. Um, this is really, really important too, because they just like that. I think that's why it was so choppy for me reading it is that if you want, and we'll just use romance as an example, if you want like that great, perfect pairing, you need to treat yourself that way. One of the examples that I use for this is um, I love flowers, but I'm not waiting for anybody to buy me flowers. I buy my own flowers all the time, right? And it's that, it's like, I love myself. Like I buy myself flowers. And if you do those things for yourself, treat yourself the way you want a lover to treat you, treat yourself the way you want a partnership, a business partnership to treat you. If you treat yourself that way, that's what you attract in. And there was a third one, which I didn't know was under this one. It says, the rapture of remembering. Call to mind your favorite nighttime dream. Take a swim in the dream's stream and get drenched in its soulful potency. Carry droplets of that dream back onto the dry land of your waking reality as you embody its energy and infuse its vibrancy. Yes, this is about your vision boards, your mental visions. What do you picture for yourself, right? You guys got to get in the zone. And what I mean by that, and some of you know this already, but it's, uh, it brings me back to the visualization that I first like heard of through the Chicago Bulls coach. I can't remember his name way back in the 90s. Oh, shoot. One of you knows his name. Anyway, he used that technique. He's, he was very zen. They called him the zen coach. And he would use that with Michael Jordan and all the players and he would have them visualizing making the basket. He would literally, that was part of their, their training. And sure, shit, it worked. Okay, so visualize. Take time, daydream, close your eyes. Make a vision board and visualize your perfect uh, life. And I'm, I'm telling you, that is part of the practice. So... I am absolutely loving this, Taurus. So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment. Let's get these readings out there to more and more people. And all of my love, light, and blessings to you, Taurus. Until next time.